Well, if we're gonna be here, we might as well enjoy it. Do I look like I'm here to play pretend with you? Action. Hello, my name is Tyler Patton. I'm the property master on House MD. I'm Kathy Crandall, and I'm the costume designer on House. We're gonna talk about episode 18, the Renaissance episode, and how exciting it was for us to be part of it. We work together closely because it's like a family here on House. It's a flipping family here, <laughs> right? Right. I found it extremely challenging for a lot of reasons. Just the amount of people was something at first we had to deal with. In terms of the wardrobe, just the mass quantity of Renaissance costumes that we needed for all the background and our leads. And Olivia Wilde wore this dress. And Kathy had to make sure they all looked appropriate for the period. Why don't you tell them about Thank that? Thank you, Tyler Patton. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's talk about the armor. Let's talk about the armor. The steel gets so heavy, you could probably wear it for about an hour with the kind of exercise they were doing and end up exhausting themselves. So we had to change over to aluminum. But the aluminum, once it gets under a lot of duress, will start to split. Uh, chain mail go everywhere, his sleeve will fall off. So I had to get riveted chain mail and then reinforce it with stainless steel links so that it wouldn't fly apart during all the stunt action sequences. I was really happy to have Tyler's help because he is a Renaissance Fair enthusiast. And it was all an education for me. And he, he led the way. I was just following her lead. She just told me what to do. I was just like a robot. It's true. It's true. Cut to the battle sequence. <laughs> Huzzah! battle sequence was a difficult challenge because of the safety concerns that come up whenever you have a sword fight. When we did the uh, stunt rehearsals, we started out with foam weapons, then we switched over to wood, then aluminum, and then steel. But we had to reinforce everything. I had to have all of the swords remade with the aluminum, with the tang that goes all the way to the base that can be screwed on so we could change the blades if they get too damaged. So every time between every take, we have to run a file along there because otherwise it'll become a serrated knife, which they'll basically be fighting with which could cause a lot of damage. Huzzah, my loyal peasants. Hugh Laurie had to learn to wield the sword, so we had a sword master come to set to show him the moves that he does in his office when he has the sword and he's talking to everybody. And it was uh, a little bit dangerous because he's supposed to be swinging close to the other performers in the scene, so we had a rubber one made, which is this one. Don't want to flex it too much, but the pain will chip. Somebody is going to get this as a prize. Put on your 3D glasses now. Your prize. And while we were filming, the Black Knight sword flew out of his hand, and it went all the way through my neck. Everyone cried. It was bad. Actually, that didn't happen at all. There is one, though, where uh, the, he drops the sword, and I had to throw it on camera, and that was pretty exciting, because I actually speared the focus puller's hand to the ground. Got shot. That's so important. Because <laughs> it's a family here!